So not too long ago, we got an update for Outriders, basically uh, PCF, well, in the opinions of many, and in my opinion as well, they nerfed the Trials of Talia Guitar. Today I'll explain why I believe the actual activity right now is worse than what it was on the release of the World Slayer DLC, and I'd also like to know your guys' opinions on the actual, the, the Trials, the way it runs now, post-patch. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so we had a few changes uh, within the latest patch for Outriders, majority of them are actually decent, but the main one, and the main one that's putting actually quite a lot of players off now, is the changes that were made to the Trials, the Trials of Tiger Guitar. So what was happening pre-patch was a large number of players were abusing an exploit which allowed them to bypass all content and basically farm the final Arbiter in the Trials. This meant getting numerous legendaries each run. Now I know some people were using mule characters to do this. Other people like myself were basically just killing the boss, backing out to the lobby, going back in and killing the boss again. You could do this four times if you didn't die during the Trials and during the run to the end boss. So if you got to the final boss with those three uh, attempts remaining, you could basically kill him four times, earning four times the loot. PCF saw this as a kind of opportunity to buff other instances of the trials. And what they did was they added guaranteed legendaries, apocalypse legendary gear to those 12 areas, uh, Cliffside, the Dora Sanctuary and the Arboretum. Does that say? I'm not even sure. The Arboretum. I don't know what that says, people. But either way, these trolls give you now guaranteed legendaries, which is cool. It's great. And I like the fact that they've done this because I would run all the way through every room anyway for XP purposes and then farm the boss four times. And this is the way I was always doing it. I weren't just running straight to the boss, bypassing the trolls just to try and get more legendaries. I actually like running the whole thing. The problem now is PCF have drastically reduced the final Arbiter's loot in regards to the legendaries that he drops. Yes, you always get that choice of three, that pick of a legendary, but in regards to what is actually dropping now, I mean, there's nothing. I mean, I'm pretty sure I ran this like 13 or 14 times since this patch. And this is legit, guys. Besides the one you can pick, the guaranteed one, I've probably had about three legendaries drop, four legendaries at max drop. And what this has done is it's made the experience, in my opinion, just a much worse one. I love the idea of farming every single room, every trove within the new trials, and then getting to the final boss and killing him and having those guaranteed legendaries drop. But now there's no guarantee whatsoever. In fact, it's pretty poor loot wise. Now I understand what PCF are trying to do here. They obviously don't want to punish players like they said for creating and abusing these farming opportunities. I appreciate that. But what they've actually done is guys, if they've punished players like me and you guys who haven't been really using any exploits so they could indefinitely farm the final arbiter, and it's just made the whole experience, in my opinion, a much less satisfying one. What it reminds me of, uh, you guys who played Destiny may remember a menagerie. When you completed that and you had the chest at the very end that could drop certain loot, there's actually an exploit you could do where you could run out of the area and run back to the chest and grab that loot again. You had like 60 seconds, maybe a bit longer, to do this as much as you can. You'd probably get it four or five times if you were quick. So you could open that chest four or five times and get the loot repeatedly. Then Bungie took it out of the game. I believe they gave us a few days warning so players could actually abuse this for a few more days. Then they took it out of the game. And from that point forward, the menagerie was never the same. And I know it's a weird one, but it is just the way people play these games now. If there's an opportunity to get easier loot, like abusing the chest in the menagerie, like abusing the boss in the trials, the final boss, the final arbiter. If there's a way in which players can get easy loot, guarantee good loot, it's something people will do. And it's something people enjoy doing. And as crazy as it seems, it adds to the experience. And once people get used to said experience and run it over and over, it becomes the norm. Take away from that norm, you're taking away from the player, and that same experience drops below par. I mean, yesterday I said that you're guaranteed nine legendaries now running through this instead of the six previously, but the six guaranteed previously were definitely topped up by the amount you could get from the final arbiter. And even if you did have that one bad run at him, you still had lives left to back out and enter the fight again and have a chance to get more legendaries. 
I mean, I appreciate what I've tried to do here, but I've made the trials, the activity all together, the trials of Tara Gritar, a much more underwhelming playthrough. They've punished the entire player base on the basis of what other players were doing and abusing an exploit which allowed them to bypass all content and indefinitely farm the final arbiter. I saw a lot of streamers doing this. I mean, of people in the actual ambassadors discord talking about this for Outriders. And although these players shouldn't be punished because it's just a part of the game. It's the way PCF have set the game up. I definitely feel there's probably a better way of resolving this and, of, and resolving the exploit rather than to take away from the trials experience. But that is just my opinion. But yes, I definitely feel the trials of Taya Guitar has definitely suffered rather than being added to. This, in my opinion, was definitely a nerf to the activity. And although you can still use the, uh, I say kind of exploit where you back out to the main lobby and re enter the fight at the final arbiter, there's a good chance you'll get no legendary drop from him, besides the one or three guaranteed to pick from, which for me have all been bad either way. I do like the fact that I'm getting less helmets dropped from the final arbiter. I just don't like the fact the final boss of this trial's experience barely drops any decent loot anymore. Hopefully PCF take this into account because a lot of people have been complaining about it and they both drop rates. But hey, that is just my opinion. Guys, let me know yours down below in that comment section. How's the trials been for you? Uh, post patch, let me know. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people. I will see you on that next one.